Let's take a look at this example. The data shown represent test scores for a statistics class's third exam. Use the data to answer the questions with technology using the built-in formulas and calculations. So we want to find the percentile rank for the test score of 53 for the students' test scores. And we want to use technology to find the value at the 80th percentile. I have that data here in my Google Sheet. So I will come down here and use the formula percent rank. So percent rank. Select our data. Make sure you go all the way over and select all of it, comma, and then the data value 53, which I could have clicked on it. I see it right there, but I'm typing it in. Oh, let's try this one more time. It didn't like me grabbing the data. I must have clicked off of it. And sometimes that happens. If it gives you an error, find out why that error is and try it again. Here I've got my values in there and I get 0.525. Multiply this by 100. 52.5. The 53 is at the 53rd percentile. Now let's take a look at the 80th percentile. To calculate a percentile in Google, we'll say equal percentile. And I do want to point out that Google also has the .inc formula here to match Excel's .inc, including all of the values. So for percentile, we grab our data. And Google and Excel want these percentiles as decimals. That's why in the first problem that we did, we got 0.525 back. It was giving us the decimal equivalent of the percentile. So if we do that here, when we're putting in our percentile for 80%, we want to make sure to change 80 to its equivalent decimal value. That's something that might be important to write up here in our table. So for each of these formulas, we either, oh, sorry, this is wrong. Percent rank returns a decimal, so we want to multiply by 100 to change it to a percent. And then the percentile, K, is the decimal equivalent of the percentile. So 80% means K is 0 0.80, or just 0.8. Two good things to point out there. If we hit enter, we get 85. So 85 is the 80th percentile. And we can see in this example the two different perspectives to consider percentiles. Either we're given a value, 53, and we want to know what its percentile is, or we want to know what value is at a particular percentile. For replicating this in Excel, we would do pretty much identically what we just did. The only difference would be this formula here, which we would change to dot i and c at the end. And notice Google's giving me the same value back, 85. So percentile and percentile dot i and c are giving me the same values.